This podcast is produced by the Harwood Productions Podcast Network. To learn more about the network and to find more of our shows, visit us online at www.harwoodpodcast.com. These delicious orange cookies not only have that great zest of orange flavor, but a great little pecan crunch and a delicious frosting on top. We're going to start by mixing our dry ingredients together and we're going to take two and a half cups of flour and add one teaspoon of baking soda and a half a teaspoon of salt. And then we're just going to kind of give that a little bit of a mix up just to get all those ingredients together. Then over at the mixer we're going to take a half a cup of unsalted butter and have it softened and then we're going to cream it up. And then we're going to add brown sugar. This cookie only uses brown sugar. We're going to put about a cup and a half in get it creaming up and then we're going to add two eggs but just one at a time make sure to mix well in between each egg now we're going to add the zest of one whole orange this is the flavor we're looking for in this cookie and then we're going to add just a little bit of vanilla about a teaspoon and we're going to mix that all up and then we're going to add a cup of sour cream. It's the sour cream mixed up with the baking soda that's going to give this cookie its lift. Now once you have all the wet ingredients, we're just going to turn the mixer down to low and slowly start to beat in the dry ingredients. Now once the flour is all mixed in, we're going to add three quarters of a cup of finely chopped pecans and just mix it until the pecans are incorporated. Then get your spatula, give it a final stir, making sure there's no flour on the bottom of the bowl. Then we're going to line our cookie sheet with a piece of parchment and use our little small cookie scoop and start to scoop out little balls of the cookie dough all over this cookie sheet. Now when you've got a baking sheet full of cookies, we're going to go ahead and pop those into a 350 degree oven for 12 minutes. Now while that first batch is cooking, it's important we get the frosting ready. So we're going to take two tablespoons of softened butter and the zest of two oranges and then the juice about four tablespoons that's a little more than half an orange and we're just going to kind of want to mix that zest up into that juice a little bit and then we're going to add about three cups of powdered sugar now you don't need to sift this um, but what you do need to do is you can see I have a little whisk and I'm just going to slowly start mixing that powdered sugar into that orange juice and butter and zest. Um, powdered sugar doesn't take a lot of liquid um, to kind of soften and moisten it, but you do need to work at it for just a couple of minutes. If you wanted to, you could do this frosting in a mixer, but I don't mind doing it by hand. It just takes a minute or two. In fact, a lot of times what I end up doing is switching to a small spatula to get that final little mix up going. And you can see it turns into a nice spreadable frosting. So our cookies are ready. You can see they're a nice golden brown because of that brown sugar. And we're gonna take it right off the baking sheet to get them cooling and get another tray right in the oven. And then what we're going to do is we need to immediately, while the cookies are warm, put just a little bit of frosting right on the top. I'm maybe using a half a teaspoon at most of frosting on the top. Now you'll notice I'm just gonna do about four cookies um, because if you'll start to notice the first cookie the frosting is already starting to melt because these cookies are hot so I'm just gonna take my spoon and kind of guide that frosting just a little bit so if I went back 
and did this over the whole tray, the frosting would have kind of drizzled all over the place. But this way, if I just do four cookies, I can kind of control the way the frosting sort of melts on these cookies. So again, I'm gonna do the second row, go through and put the frosting on the top, and then as it melts, I just kind of guide it with my spoon a little bit. And they really turn out with a nice little frosting top. Well, if you like the flavor of orange, you are gonna love these little cookies. Just go to our website and get the recipe, and if you have any questions or ideas for me, please send me an email. I'll see you next time. Want to see what's going on behind the scenes at Harwood Podcast Network? Maybe you want to know what's going on with your favorite shows. You can follow us by going to twitter.com forward slash Harwood Podcast. We have daily entries, photos, all kinds of behind the scenes info. We'll see you on Twitter.